Uh, hi, I'm Eric Starkloff from uh, National Instruments. I'm the Executive Vice President of Sales and Marketing. And you gave a presentation this morning. Tell me a little bit about the, the highlights. Yeah, the presentation was about uh, building, going from design uh, to prototype really, really fast on 5G systems and show, I showed a bunch of different technologies that our lead users are kind of doing leading research uh, for 5G and demonstrating real world, real time prototypes today. So everything from massive MIMO to new types of 5G waveforms, uh, higher level 5G networking uh, protocols, uh, and then millimeter wave, which is a really hot area. And you talked about we're close to that point where standardization is, is, yeah. is getting there. It, is 2016 the year that standardization will start to come into play? Well, yeah, we're really close to what I call the pivotal year. And so the next couple of years is when most of the standard will get worked out. So right now we have a huge array of different technologies and there's a race to prove out which of these technologies will be viable for a standard that most people think will go into implementation in the 2018 to 2020 timeframe. Is there any standards that you see shaking out right now as we speak? Well, some of these things are actually being put into uh, iterations of 4G. So obviously there's a continuous evolution on some fronts. Uh, and so some of the demonstrations we have in the booth are actually elements of, of 4G networking. Uh, but then there's uh, some major areas like millimeter wave that are a whole new radio access technology uh, that's being explored for 5G. And um, how is the prototyping speeding up the process for standardization and 5G in general? Absolutely. So the, the point is we have to go from an idea to an implementation as quickly as possible in this race towards 5G. And too often today there's disparate tools that are used to go from a, a software you know, simulation to an actual real world prototype that can show the performance. Uh, what I showed this morning is a, a platform with software and hardware that can go from a simulation to an actual implementation and demonstrate real world performance. Nokia was able to show this in millimeter wave. This was half the time of previous systems and they saved a calendar year off their development time. Um, and you mentioned full duplex communication. I hadn't heard that. Can you tell me a little bit about that? Yeah, most wireless systems are called half duplex. So you're either transmitting or receiving. In full duplex, you're transmitting and receiving at the same time and the same frequency band, um, which requires incredible amounts of signal processing. The full blue, uh, duplex system done by LG and Yonsei University uses LabVIEW FPGA from National Instruments to do the real-time signal processing to pull that off. And it gets a almost 2x, 1.9x throughput improvement over a half duplex system. And what, what do you see behind you? So the demonstration behind me is a millimeter wave uh, prototype. This is very similar to the system used by Nokia. Uh, it can achieve 10 gigabit per second over the air link at 73 gigahertz, and it's using two gigahertz of bandwidth. Um, that's one of the reasons we go to these millimeter wave frequencies to get large chunks of spectrum. And this is a real world, real time prototype for doing transmit and receive at 73 gigahertz. Uh, does National Instruments have anything else that they're, they're, they're showing off here? Yeah, the booth, we have the same platform, the same hardware and software, but showing all kinds of different technologies. Full duplex you mentioned, massive MIMO, very important area. Uh, up to 128 channels or 128 antennas, and you need to do special beam steering techniques to make that work. Uh, we're also showing things like compressive sensing or sub Nyquist sampling uh, and many other applications that are kind of technologies leading to 5G. And give me an idea, 2016, what, what's 2016 going to look like for 5G? 2016 is the year of the prototype, right? So this is when these ideas are actually going to be demonstrated. We're going to learn the real world performance and use that information to decide which technologies become part of 5G uh, and drive the standard for the next decade.